Yeah. Fuck the shit pit, the bacon pit. Fuck Michael O'Toole, exposure. Fuck you all, do something about us. Nappies. And they were going around pitting up a, 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 a Google clip of a girl just because her second name was O'Driscoll saying, oh, King I was putting drugs in a kid's nappy. <laughs> it was a girl, you stupid bastards. It was <clears> a fucking <throat> girl, you thick cunts. It was a girl, not a fella. Yeah? And no wonder Exposure, the cheek, to even, to even say it, to even come out with it. Exposure TV. Your real name is Michael O'Toole, you fucking backwards, crooked eyes cunt, with your dirty little blondie head of hair. You had rip your I'd rip the last hair out of you, cunt. You expose your TV. You, you little wronging, Michael O'Toole, you half a fucking hey. fool. You pit drugs in your own child's nappy. Heroin. It's on fucking Google to be seen. Fact. And that child is blanked to fucking Scouse Emma. No wonder Scouse Emma came at me last night because I was talking about her ex-partner. You're two little crackhead of little rats. One is a, Emma is the biggest tablet head you get and exposure is just the biggest nonce you get. Wimp. Listen, the thing Wimp. is with Emma, donkey right, I know donkey teeth on you. I know from someone she goes on another panel with on a female panel, okay? Emma's got a lot of mental health issues. Emma lives with her mother after her um, father died. So she moved in with her mother and not many people like Emma. Nobody whatsoever. And Emma gets very hurt over that. It's like when you said nobody bothers with you. She even admitted it herself that you touched a raw nerve with her because she's got no I like the screenshot. I have a screenshot. Why would you have mates, Emma, when you're like that? A dirty I have a cunt. screenshot, Paolo. Paolo. You know, if you were my daughter, Emma, if you were my daughter, I'd tie you I'd down in the bathroom punch. and I'd fill your mouth full of soap suds and I would scrub your mouth with a Brillo pad because you... And no woman, you are what gives women a bad name. You're a dirty, smelly. Oh, you're disgusting. She goes on about, she's going on about people and fucking... kids. She goes oh. on about people and kids when, she, oh, when she's, she's, got people and she's looking after her own kids and she's dosed up a lot of Valium and all that oh. fucking wet, wet Coming on panels, drunk off her head full of Valium, screaming, and that's the truth. telling us that like her no kids husband, are in bed. No husband with her, no boyfriend with her, her kids in bed. Imagine if something happened and one of them kids touched me off India to come downstairs, go south off or anything, and you've got junky Emma down there offering a lot of value. Junky don't know what friendless Emma? You know what I mean? Seriously. Coming on here begging for friends, and then when we don't want to be your friends, you start calling us names, you pathetic little cunt. You ugly cunt. I've seen your shadow, and that's ugly enough for me. She put a shadow on the screen one day when she was in the back garden. I'm not being funny, but thunder thighs doesn't come into it. You are a disgusting fucking slag. You're not even a fucking woman the way you go on. Your mouth is disgusting. I'm going to call you he, she from now on. Because you are not a woman. On, the first night she came on my panel, I don't know what it was. She, goes, she kept shouting, saying, Oh, look at my hairy toes, look at my hairy toes. Oh, they're disgusting. Oh. And I can swear on my grandfather's grave that she had more hairs on her legs than what I have. And that's a fact. The dirty, hairy You've little mongrel. seen the state of her fucking hell, her fucking toes. There was hairs coming was out of her fucking nails. They were about five listen, inches we're long, about, we're, on about, we're on about Scouts here, I know. Scouts, Emma. We all, everyone knows what we're on about, yeah? So just. just Listen to me you now, all of you, 130, 131 of you, and listen very carefully, please, right? When Expo, Michael O'Toole, the half a fool, comes live, he will fully blow attack me. Why? Because <laughs> I'm talking about his ex-partner. <laughs> yeah, that's who she is. Yeah, that's who was putting the... <clears throat> she was who was putting the drugs in the nappy. It was her. 100%. And that's why Emma had to leave him in case the kids were taken off him. That's they, why. They can they, never... They speak back. That's why they're not with each other. Because the, their kids were being taken off him over they there. They never the show the face Because when Michael O'Toole, Exposure TV, was walking through Liverpool, selling 20 bags of heroin, he was pulling them out of the child's nappy. Let's be real about it. Expo, Michael O'Toole, you little fucking wronging. You came on your live about four or five weeks back and you showed your face, you crooked eyed blonde here, the little rat, and you're trying to jump out the way of the camera. And then when you turned it off, you start laughing, saying, Oh, you know it, catchy. No, you're not fooling fucking over, you stupid cunt. That's you. Go on to himself. Google, go on to Google, go on to Google, and type in Michael O'Toole and look at the picture who comes up of Michael O'Toole. So, why would Exposure TV put a fella, Michael O'Toole, on his screen, pretending to be him when he went around putting heroin in his, in his own child's nappy. Why would you give yourself a name like that if it wasn't you? It is him. Trust me what I'm saying, lads. It fucking is him. The little fucking rotten barco. Putting kids in your child's nappy heroin, pulling the bags out of your child's nappy and selling them around Liverpool. You fucking rat. You were caught. You were charged. Your kids were being taken off you. So 
crackhead a fucking tablet am I to leave you you fucking little dosser fucking speech impediment fuck you out exposure you fucking dosser cock in your mouth lad <laughs>